With mandatory evacuations now ordered across many parts of Florida tonight, Florida Governor Rick Scott is telling people in those areas leave now. Mm. Good evening. I'm Anna Manuel and I'm Mark Edwards. Thanks for watching Fox 30 News at nine. At this point, Hurricane Irma is being blamed for at least 10 deaths in the Caribbean. Still a powerful category five storm. Fox News correspondent Joel Waldman is in Miami Beach monitoring the latest developments. It's our top story. Regardless of what coast you live on, be prepared to evacuate. Floridians on the West Coast cannot be complacent. This storm can still move west. Hurricane Irma now a deadly monster storm moving ever closer to Florida where it's expected to hit this weekend. Hurricane watches have now been issued for South Florida and the Florida Keys. Irma already slamming parts of the Northern Caribbean, killing at least six, destroying buildings and leaving thousands homeless. We're with everybody in Florida. We're working very hard. It's the largest hurricane they've ever seen coming out of the Atlantic. Irma could start impacting the Florida Keys as early as Friday. At this point, officials in Florida and Georgia have ordered evacuations for people living in many low-lying and coastal areas, prompting traffic backups and gasoline shortages. We should probably be able to make at least a state line before we have to stop for fuel. Wow. So, heard on the news they're having problems everywhere with it. So. We'll see how it goes. Now, state troopers are escorting gas trucks to dry fuel pumps. For gas stations and evacuation zones, we need you to stay open as long as possible. Please stay open as long as possible so people can get out. Joel Wildman reporting there.